Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex Ram thirteen thirteen. Right now it is uh, nine o'clock here in uh, California, Southern California, and we're gonna make a trip to Northern California to Levi Stadium. <laughs> we're gonna make a trip to Northern California to Levi Stadium right now for the NHL Stadium Series. We're gonna review the different amenities, the different uh, technologies that they use there, because apparently it's so high tech. I gotta see it to believe it. So we're finally here in Northern California and we're walking to the, the train station. So after that, we'll see how the stadium actually is. Also, I just downloaded the Levi Stadium app. Let's see how fast I can deliver food to my seat. Fun fact, I actually saw this construction while I was here for a conference uh, a few years ago. It's pretty nice to see how it is now. Uh, they're supposed to have a bunch of solar panels, but the, tr the train we took didn't pass by them. Uh, that screen up there, where there, is supposed to be 200 feet wide by, I forgot how many high, uh, at a resolution of a, a, about 1,100 columns by 40,000, or no, 4,000 um, rows. So that, that should be fun. We'll see how that quality looks. We're about to get the, the tickets now with the, with the will call. Just wanted to point out that this gate is sponsored by Intel. I don't know if you can see on YouTube, but yeah, Intel Gate A. So oh, Levi Stadium has this cool ticket scanner. It's mounted into the ground, so don't use those portables. Uh, we didn't get the special stadium, stadium series ticket, but the generic ticket is very nice. It's shiny. And the barcode that you scan through the hole. To provide some context, here's the app itself. You can order parking passes, tickets, food, log into a 49ers fan club, and watch game highlights. But what we were most interested in was in-seat delivery. Now this very screen is wrong and you'll find out why later. Anyway, you might have noticed the flashing lights in the back. The kind app assistant's employee explained that it could be activated using the Levi Stadium app. It didn't work on my phone, but it did produce a cool effect during John Fogarty. <laughs> However, I'm back at the hotel, Kings 1, 2 to 1, and I have some uh, final comments about Levi Stadium. I wasn't fully able to show you the food ordering system because apparently it was, it was too busy, it got overloaded, and we never got our food. So that, that, I don't know if it's a technical problem or on the employees, but that's not good. <laughs> Plus the $5 delivery fee to your seat. And, and the expensive price of uh, stadium food alone, that's... Uh. <laughs> and it, it, it charged your card anyway, didn't it? Uh, yeah. So that sucked. And the app itself, the Levi Stadium app, isn't very stable, at least on my phone. It's slow, it's sluggish, probably because it's doing it real time, but it kept trying to access location services when you're connected to the stadium Wi-Fi, which does work great. Uh, but when trying to order food, if you are connected to the stadium Wi-Fi, it'll use location services to determine your uh, seat location. But it just didn't work for my phone. As for the title of most technologically advanced stadium in the US, that's a long shot. They're making progress, but they, they need to execute right. So there's my quick review of Levi Stadium and the technical aspect. Um, hope you guys like this vlog. Hope it helps. Uh, it's a great stadium nonetheless. It's a great place to watch a game, uh, especially a hockey game. And we had a great view there. Anyway, so I'll see you later. Expect a new tutorial coming soon. And please subscribe. Bye.